Hello, welcome to Acapulco, Mexico at the Anarchapulco Conference. You could say that this 24-hour block of time we are in right now could be considered Dash's biggest day ever, at least that I know of. And I mentioned to Pete earlier that I could probably just get on Dash Detail today and say blah, 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 and everyone would say, yes, Dash, but I'm not going to do that. In fact, I'm just going to tell you everything you need to know. So let's start with development updates. Oh, and what is the update I have to give you? That the migration from 12.0 to 12.1 is 100% complete. Yes, that means that enforcement is now turned on, meaning that only 12.1 masternodes are on our network right now. Miners are no longer able to cheat. And yes, even instant send has been turned back on. Uh, in the words of Flare, the, my, the update, the upgrade to our network is 100% as of very recently. Something else that's new in 12.1 that you may have not noticed, I didn't notice it until I checked Dash Central the other day, is that abstain is now a voting option. So a masternode can now vote yes, no, or abstain on a proposal. And what does abstain mean? Well, I saw a comment from community member Macrochip that I thought was really apt. So let me read that for you now. The most useful thing about abstain is the fact that you can now unvote after you already cast your vote but have decided to retract it without switching the results by 180 degrees as in going from a full yes to a full no or a full no to a full yes but now if you want to switch your vote rather you can switch things by only 90 degrees which is a yes to a meh or a no to a meh well said macro and the final development update is that the second quarterly core report call, that is where Dash's core developers get together on a live call and give investors both a progress report and take questions from them, is scheduled for March the 9th at 1500 hours UTC time. Now up to 100 people can listen to this call live, even if you're not a Dash investor, as long as you get one of the first 100 slots, you can listen live as well as participate in the question and answer session that follows it. For anybody who doesn't listen in on the live call, the audio and video portion will be published on our YouTube channel. Moving on to network statistics. Okay, so as I had said, with enforcement now turned on, only 12.1 masternodes are on the network. So we have lost between four and 500 masternodes since turning enforcement on. Uh, and so we're now at 3,996 masternodes, or just about 4,000, right? Uh, but you'll see that this pattern is, or rather that this is a pattern, this isn't uncommon. Look at this chart here, where you will see that this sort of dip in masternodes has happened uh, at every upgrade point that we've had over the past three years. So this is not at all an unexpected thing. And hey, 4,000 masternodes did upgrade. But if you haven't, I would encourage you to do so. Again, it's 12.1.2. You can find it at dash.org forward slash downloads. In mining, today's hash rate is 2.4 tera hashes per second. And this has actually been pretty much at a hold steady, more or less, for the past two or three weeks, coming down only slightly from an all time high hash rate of 2.7 tera hashes that was reached a few weeks ago. Uh, to put this into context, here is our three month hash rate chart our one-year hash rate chart, and our lifetime hash rate chart. Finally, in network statistics, the next super block, which will be the first post-update super block, is set to be paid on March the 5th. So if you intend to vote on any treasury proposals that you've not yet voted upon, go ahead and do it before the super block pays out on March the 5th. And now let's move on to price movement. I know, maybe the primary reason you're watching this show today. And yes, as of the time of recording this episode, I, I don't know what it will be when you watch it, but as of right this moment, uh, Dash has reached the number three spot in coin market cap, having displaced Ripple and uh, being behind only our competitors, Ethereum and Bitcoin. So wow, big wow. At time of recording, the Dash to US dollar price is $31.95 a coin. This makes for a total market capitalization of 228 million US dollars, 
with 7.1 million dash available in existence and a 24-hour trade volume of just under 9 million US dollars, which is the highest I've ever seen it by far, but I suppose that's not surprising given, given today's events. To put this market capitalization into context, here is our three-month market cap chart, our one-year market cap chart, and of course our lifetime market cap chart having begun back in January of 2014. All right, let's move on to business and headlines. Of course, uh, our, the, our market cap moves were covered by the, the man with the plan, the man who's on it over at Finance Magnates, Avi Mizrahi, in this article that you see here. In addition, though Dash has been on the payment processor block pay for some time now, for whatever reason, the news about that is coming out only now and is, and is coming out in full force. I don't know what genius PR move it was to get something that happened in August of last year, if I hear correctly, to get talked about a bunch right now, but it is. So uh, Dash being on the block pay payment processor was covered by Cointelegraph twice, uh, by Payment Week, and by BanklessTimes.com. I have not yet used BlockPay. I've seen someone have it on their tablet. They were using it. I didn't get a good look at it. So I would ask if any of you have used BlockPay, would you kindly leave a review of it in the comment section of this video so that the rest of us can kind of get an idea of how it may or may not be useful in our situations or the situations of people we may know. In other business news, Australians can now exchange fiat Australian dollars to Dash using the website coinspot.com.au. And a very interesting long-awaited development is that Dash is now supported by wallofcoins.com. Now, wallofcoins.com supports several ways of acquiring Dash. Uh, through various countries, some involving uh, bank transfer methods, others not involving bank transfer methods at all. They even support the very popular uh, cash in the mail option. So check out Dash on wallofcoins.com because this, this is a pretty big development for us and it really, it's a, another major step forward in providing an answer to the question we're getting more and more of these days, which is how do I get some Dash? And then again, I would like to ask for your feedback on one more thing. The website dashnearby.com. I've not yet used it. It looks to be another OTC trading website. Uh, if any of you have used dashnearby.com and can report to me about it in, uh, in one way or another, it was great or it was horrible, don't use it. Uh, whichever, please just leave a review about that in the comment section below. I'm sure the rest of us would appreciate it. Now to social happenings. Dear Jerry Banfield released a two hour long how and why to set up a masternode tutorial and it is performing so well. If you don't know who Jerry Banfield is, he is the sweet soul who started coming to Dash's treasury weeks ago making proposals. The first one got shot all to hell. The second one got kind of shot to hell. And Jerry finally made enough tweaks to it so that his third time proposing to the network, uh, it passed. But then we, we, we threw, that, then the 12.1 update started and all existing proposals got erased. So sweetheart Jerry put in his fourth proposal to make videos for our, for our network. And as of this time, it's passing. And even though he hasn't been paid yet, uh, Jerry has already started releasing these videos, this master no tutorial being among them, and it's doing very well. And I just want to say thank you and welcome to Jerry Banfield. Elsewhere, you may have seen that Daniel Diaz was interviewed on The Crypto Show, and I've not yet listened to that episode. I look forward to so doing, but wanted to let you know about it. And what's more, if I may also report this on the ground experience, I got to meet uh, both Danny and Chris from The Crypto Show here at Anarchapulco quite recently. And I've got to say that they are excellent ambassadors for Dash. I can't speak a lot about Chris because I didn't get to spend a lot of time about with him, but Danny, I have. And this guy is 
a great asset for us. I've just got to say, because I, I wasn't so sure when I saw the crypto show like reproposing uh, for Dash sponsorship, like month after month after month, I was one of the people who was like, I don't know, I'm not sure how long we need to be sponsoring the crypto show. But now that I have met Danny in person, he is a hustler and he is a great salesman for Dash. So I just wanted to say that in case you didn't know. And finally, in social happenings, yes, here at this conference, again, actually, uh, Roger Veer first made his Dash holdings public. I think it was the first time he has been public about it, but he made a presentation where he basically said which coins he's holding as a hedge against Bitcoin. And Dash was, of course, among them. So that was neat. And finally, in current opportunities, uh, Dash community member and current treasury proposal holder I'm gonna have to come up with a better term for that. But Roberto Azar is looking for volunteers to join Dash Chat. Now, Dash Chat is a treasury proposal that is looking to create a live chat of sorts to provide support to newcomers to Dash. Now, granted, this is not technical support, so you don't need to be a whiz bang at Dash Technicals because that's not what the job is about. Uh, if, I, if I had to guess from the notes that he sent me, the job is more about knowing where to send people to find answers to their questions in a real live chat sort of way. So if you are interested in volunteering for Dash Chat, and mind you, this could become a paid position in the future if Dash Chat looks to be profitable enough to the master nodes that they would want to to re uh, to renew their 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 sponsor their funding of it. If you're interested in volunteering for the time being, go ahead and fill out this form uh, online. You'll find the link to this as well as all of today's show's links in the description below. Uh, you should have been a part of the Dash community for at least a few months, you know, obviously, so you know what's going on and where to direct people. And everyone is encouraged to apply. And uh, Roberto says that he will, uh, he will screen applicants for suitability uh, after they have applied. So that is it for Dash Detailed today. I just, I can't tell you how, how exciting it is to be here. Uh, I've spoken to, to the gamut of people, really. There, there's something like seven or 800 people at this conference, and they go everywhere from the super crypto nerd to, you know, like, like your mom and dad from Tennessee who have, they've heard of Bitcoin maybe, and, and that's about it. And, and I've got to tell you that these are the people, the people who don't know much about crypto, who are most open to what it is that I have to say. And that is exactly that is exactly in line with Dash's plans, right? Which is to reach out to the average person and offer them a truly useful product. So I've got to say, I feel I feel very optimistic about um, just about people's willingness to try out money in a different way, uh, particularly the way that we are attempting to build it for them. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel if you've not yet, but even more so, I hope that you will subscribe to my weekly email. That is where I send you an email every Wednesday with the newest video in it by sending an email to amanda at dash.org and I'll just take care of it from there. So I will see you next week at this same time. Thank you for watching. There's a bug on the camera. It's on the lens. It's coming out.